quick video for you guys as Christmas is winding down. It's, it's almost midnight on Christmas Day. So I'm making this video in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just wanted to say that forgive the people that have wronged you. Ask God for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ for everything you've done. All right, when you have some kind of like free day um, or just like a, a down day, like off day, I mean, <laughs> not a down day, but like a downtime day, um, just run through God the things that you feel guilty about, that you feel like you did wrong um, and tell him and ask him for forgiveness. Um, and if you can, ask the people you have wronged for forgiveness, um, you know, ask them personally for forgiveness. And people that have wronged you, you know, you can tell them, hey, I forgive you. You know, just don't let ha let it happen again. But yeah, I forgive you. Um, but yeah, so another thing is, you know, it's important to tell people how you feel. Um, and that's another important thing to do during your downtime is to, you know, naturally in your downtime, you're going to be figuring out how you feel. Um it can help through fasting, uh, through remaining celibate, uh, just through, you know, prayer could be another one. And just in your like quiet time, like maybe you cut the TV off, uh, maybe you just finished reading the Bible and now you're going to have a little quiet time. Um, it's going to help you sort of like understand how you feel about things and people. So it's important to tell people how you feel. All right. Because. You have an impact on people. Um, and for real, though, that you want to tell them how you feel, guys, because let's say you keep not telling them how you feel and you think like maybe they'll just tell me how they feel. Um, people really look up to you. They look to you. OK, so I need you to tell them how you how you feel. All right, guys, because life is too short. It's too short to play this like pride game. Like it's really not prideful to, to pretend like you don't have feelings to be nonchalant. It's not prideful to do that. But people think it's pride. Um, it's like they put their nose up in the air like and they think like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be like the I'm going to be like more cool or I'm going to be like more proud and not tell them how I feel. But it's important to tell people how you feel in the name of Jesus Christ. You got to tell people how you feel when you feel it. Or at least as soon as you can tell them. If you care about somebody, if you love somebody, if you like what they bring to the table, um, whether it be whatever skills they're bringing to the table, whether they're comfort or comforting, um, whether they're just, you know, Helping to just uh, make it a better household, make it more of a better environment. Um, tell them like how you feel, when you feel it, uh, especially the men. I see a lot of men and they, they just think they're the king of their castle and they just go around and they're the breadwinner. That's a good thing, guys. That's a good thing to have. But also, guys, make sure you're able to, you know, tell people how you feel. All right. It's great that you're a breadwinner. It's great that you can get things done. But uh, you, you should also tap into that to that other side where you're able to kind of like also be an emotional uh, human being um, because you should tell people how you feel when you feel it. Um, don't wait. Um, don't don't keep thinking. I'll tell them next time. And this is something I've learned through my my hard trials, through the hard times, painful times, right, that. That God has put me through in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, he's put me through hard times. I'm not saying it's harder than the times you've been through. I'm not saying it's the hardest times on the planet. I'm just saying that God has put me through things that have been hard for me um, to deal with. Painful situations. And through my pain, I learned you got to tell people how you feel when you feel it. It's like you start growing. The more pain you go through, you start growing into like you get more buff emotionally. You start getting buff like you're not afraid no more of like saying something and then feeling insecure pretty soon after all that like uh suffering that you go through 
and you might drip a tear, you might just start feeling like, oh, like, I can't believe this is happening to me. But then through the storm, you're going to realize, all right, I don't feel that way no more. I'm thankful that God put me through the suffering. He has a plan for me. I trust in him. And then you're going to start feeling emotionally buff. You're going to start feeling like, I'm just going to say how I feel when I feel it and let people revolve to me. Let people magnetize to me, right? Once you start being this person, this is like top person right here. This is when everything is falling into place for you. When you no longer are looking around to other people to be like the the, the center, right? You walk in the room, you say how you feel, you say what you think, and then people are going to basically worship you, right? In the name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, because God is doing that for you. Right, God is giving you some sort of connection with him. That's it's like an intuition, right? You get this feeling within you like this is how I feel. The more the more suffering you go through, the more you start to like have this sixth sense of feelings, right? And you feel a certain way about people. It's like you get more in touch with your feelings. The more tears that you drip, the more in touch with your feelings you get. And then it's important to communicate that, right? It's important to communicate that so when you walk in the room you tell people this is how i feel this is how it's going people are not going to dislike you people are going to love your honesty um they're just you're going to be um it's like you're going to have this authenticity just reek you're reeking of authenticity sorry for the word reeking but i couldn't think of a better word just like you're dripping with authenticity because people can tell when you're saying something from the heart or if you're just saying something from the brain, right? If you're just logically speaking, you could speak about cars, you could speak about motorcycles, you could speak about anything logically. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. But let's say you start tapping into your emotion, into your heart, right? Into your into your feelings, right? Um, and you're speaking to someone about some feelings. P people can just understand that authenticity right there, right? If you start trying to talk about logically, but it's about your feelings, though. Um, people are gonna are not going to read that, right? They're gonna be like, "Why is he talking about a car?" But he, why is he talking like he's talking about a car? But he's talking about his feelings. Like he must be faking it. So it's important to tell people how you feel when you feel it, and then just let them come to you. Don't just keep wait. You can't wait for people to come to you, but then you're also not doing anything, right? Especially as a man, you, you got to navigate this world, right? With God using you as a vessel, right? God speaking through you, you're navigating this world, right? You're, you're going to navigate this world and you're going to walk in the room and you're going to tell people, this is how I feel uh, right now. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, man, thank you, right? You go through, you're like the man, right? You're like the man. You're over here. You have all these things to say. And you just let people gravitate towards you, right? You let people come to you with their problems. You let, you're a problem solver, right? Um, it's something that I learned through my suffering. I used to be the person that was always looking up to somebody, right? But never to God. I mean, I did look up to God. I did idolize God. But now I truly just idolize God. God and then me. I don't, I don't idolize myself, but I'm just saying it goes God. And then it's just me. I'm the next person that is like, all right, I'm walking in the room. I'm telling people how I feel when I feel it. And I'm not a hundred percent there guys, but I'm getting to that point where I'm not afraid to say anything, right? I could say something and then someone could completely hate what I said. I'm not afraid because there's more people over here. There's more, keep the people coming, right? People like somebody that would just not be afraid to say anything. You could say anything, right? As long as it's coming from the heart and you feel it, um, people are going to respect it. Even if they don't feel the same way, they're going to say, you know what, I actually disagree with this person, but the fact that they're speaking from the heart and they stand on what they believe in, that's pretty respectable. So yeah, it's, impor it's important to really just tell people how you feel when you feel it. Uh, because when you don't let somebody know something, that's going to be years of just pent up. Like They have to assume now. Now they have to assume. When you don't tell them how you feel, now they have to assume. And people assume the worst. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. People tend to assume the worst. So you got to ease their mind, guys. Ease their mind and tell them how you feel.
and tell them they are so, so great. They're so wonderful. And that's about it, guys.